In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the math round function in JavaScript. And JavaScript has built in functions, and one of them is the math round function. And what it really does is basically it understands with math, it understands it is a calculating or it relates to numbers. And then the round function will round to decimals up or down depending on the value. So basically, if it's four, it will round it down. So it will go to the nearest integer value. So if it's 4.4, .4, it will show 4. If it's 4.6, it will round it up by default to 5. So let's start and explore this. So let's say here we have here our HTML file. And in here we have our basic uh, HTML template here. And what we're going to do here in the JavaScript, we'll start to explore how we can use it or how does it respond. So for example, here we have the following. We have a variable and this variable or constant and this constant is 9.88 oh, sorry we have to make sure this is a variable or number we say price equals and then we say here we can make it a number make sure this is a number however this is right now a decimal number or floating point number and what we want to have is an integer yes to make an integer basically we have to remove these here so we need to round it and we're going to round it up to 10 basically so how do we do this well we can check here in the console.log and we can put in now first the price once we put in the price and put a semicolon here save this and refresh the page you will see nothing happens here but open up a developer tab you can see we get an 8 point well 9.88 and you can see here this is a number and the reason why it's number because it's blue here. If we would put in a string, if we make it a string here by putting here commas, or sorry, uh, single quotations, refresh, we can see now it's grayed out. Once we remove these again, save this, it becomes a number. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say here round. So we have to say math.round, and then we put them in parentheses. What's very important is make sure that math is because this function is by default with a capital letter M. Save this, refresh, and now you can see it jumps up to number 10. And the reason why is because 9.88, the closest one is, of course, the value of 10. So let's put this here to 44. Let's save this, refresh, and now you can see it becomes nine. It rounds it down. So basically, it will depend on what you round it on. So everything from one to oh, one, two three four and then everything from five or basically here's and then up to four point four nine 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 and then after that everything from oh basically this will be rounded as well up well we can check that but exactly however everything up to four point four and then everything from four point five onward it will start to 4.5 4.5 and onward you will see that this will be rounded up considered going above an integer so let's start and explore here this is 44 what happened if we do 45 let's save this refresh it's still considered a 9 value and if you do this for 9 let's see here it's still considered 9 as well so basically here yeah, the moment we are 5 that's the moment it triggers to going up to 10 and this is basically how you can use the round function here simple straightforward it will always look at the decimal after the point or after this so the first decimal in the value here so if you like these kind of videos very basic javascript topics subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding to this put them in the comment section below and if you are by any means interested in Chart.js because all of this here can be used in Chart.js as well, check out my Udemy course in the description box.